It's an honor for me to have an opportunity to, uh, to be with attorneys that are out there uh, seeking justice and representing individuals uh, that, uh, that need a representative, uh, someone to stand up uh, for them. Uh, in so many states, uh, those of us who are members of the transgender community are facing uh, discriminatory laws. We are facing uh, an inability to access uh, health care in, uh, in a way that is consistent with what we need and what uh, any other individual who is uh, attempting to access health care would receive. Uh, we know of the number of individuals in our community who have suffered from violence. Uh, the, but it is not simply just the transgender community. Throughout uh, the LGBTQ community, we're finding instances of uh, discrimination, of violence, uh, people who have lost lives, lost hope. Uh, yet at the same time, uh, while there are reasons to worry, there are also good reasons to hope and the attorneys who are standing up for individuals are one of those good reasons for hope. I'm Dan Bryson, President of Public Justice this year, and my home state is North Carolina, and I was absolutely repulsed and repelled by some of the discrimination that our politicians uh, enacted in House Bill 2 against the transgender community. It was uh, the most hateful, repulsive thing I've ever seen in my life as a, a lifelong North Carolinian. Uh, luckily, there was some good that came from it because our Republican governor who, who doubled down on that bill lost. We were able to elect a Democratic governor, a Democratic attorney general, and that bill was overturned. And so North Carolina is a much, uh, much better state because the people of North Carolina, which is it's a great state, and we, we have great people. We just have some very bad politicians. We were able to come and get this bill, bill overturned. And uh, it just still breaks my heart to think back about that hateful time when that bill was, was, uh, was, was, was part of uh, what was being proposed in North Carolina. Having Mayor Lisa, as you call her here, is it's just an <laughs> honor. Like, it's an honor. Having attorneys like Dan who do the work in the trials in the courtroom is amazing. One of the things, I'm the LGBT chair, I'm the chair of the LGBT caucus here at AAJ, and one of the things that I have been amazed with over and over and over again is exactly what you were just talking about, that people from all the different areas, the women's caucus, the minority caucus, people who aren't in a caucus, they just want to come and help, we get so much support from the entire community. And it's, that's what it's going to take to turn the tide. Mm -hmm. It's not, we can do everything we can do in the trials and there's amazing things that happen. We can do everything we can do with fundraising, but we need people who are not of our community helping us defend our community. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that has been amazing about getting our, our caucus is only five years old. Mm. We're, we're, I've phrased it, we're in kindergarten. We're brand new and the support we've been getting is phenomenal. And one thing that we are hoping to do is in the future, hopefully the very near future, is to start spreading out and doing some stuff beyond just, okay, now we've established our caucus. Now what can we do to help public justice? What can we do to help other attorneys who are actually doing the work in the trial, in the, trial, in the courtrooms?